Just imagine you're out and about exploring the world or undertaking a contract for an interested party and on your travels you run across a gargantuan, overgrown, derelict crashed ship on the planet's surface. You can see that somebody else has found it before as there are telltale hints of human habitation. Do you venture inside? One of the more recent location additions to Star Citizen is the so-called Ghost Hollow Wreck on Microtech. It's filled with interesting details and is a great place to go out and explore. I'm Farrister, and I love finding those interesting details in places in Star Citizen that make you sit back and realise how much work has gone in to making the game as immersive as possible. So much so that the Location Spotlight series on this channel delves into lots of different places in the game. To celebrate the development work that has clearly gone into crafting the location, but also giving you some inspiration for places you can visit yourself in Star Citizen. Finding the Ghost Hollow is not always the easiest. If you have a mission marker, fantastic, but for those of us who don't, the best way seems to be to travel to OM3 above Microtech in the Stanton system. From there, looking down at the planet, there is an area of relative greenery that might show up as a mix of green and reddish brown. Within that, there are two large snowy areas. Orient your ship so the smaller snowy area is at the top, and then look across to the left. Next to a jutting out area of greenery, there is a snowy mountain, and the right hand side of that mountain is your target. It's worth adding that sometimes the clouds can cover the area, but hopefully travelling straight down from here gives you enough detail to find it. Once you get close, you'll see the scrape from the crash quite visibly from the air, which lets you know you're in the right place. This is Microtech, so the atmosphere is breathable if you choose not to wear a spacesuit, although it can get quite cold, so you might want to dress warm. Not to mention, armour and a personal weapon can be helpful, as this location is often accompanied by less than savoury characters. At the site, there are some interesting little details to observe. If you're looking for somewhere to land your ship, there's a rudimentary landing zone off to the side with an X marks the spot to let you know where the centre is. That said, smaller ships may be able to find areas amongst the trees to set down. This is the location that pops up in FPS combat missions from time to time, so don't be surprised if you run into another player, sweeping the wreck for hostile forces. There are an interesting mix of things to see, both inside and outside, with internals giving off a spooky, overgrown vibe, and outside views offering a hint at what the derelict turned settlement might look like as places to explore in the verse. If you know your way around the Reclaimer, you'll probably be able to navigate some of the wreck fairly naturally. If you're not familiar with the Reclaimer, well, you might like to check out my review video on this channel, or alternatively, there are handy arrows dotted around the place which guide you around the wreck. All in all, it's a pretty neat location, well worth a visit during the daytime if you'd like to see something a little different. If you're looking for inspiration for other interesting places to explore that feel a little different, you might like to check out some of the other Location Spotlight videos on this channel, or perhaps even subscribe so you can know every time a new video goes live. If you enjoyed this video, you might press that like button to help guide me as to what you're enjoying seeing the most. And naturally, if you have any suggestions for places to showcase, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.